Welcome to Darkness Gaming. So I finished Sinus Sins 6 uh, very fast. Uh, how did I do that? Well, let me show you. I'm a carnival build, so this is what you need. Tasty Squirrel Sue. At least four to start. Then you want some broiled store speech brains. At least six to start, because they last 30 minutes per per uh, per use. Then you want four lunch boxes at a time. You're gonna need a bunch of live and love aids, I'd say at least twenty. They last for an hour. Uh, you need at least 10 liter bobbleheads because they last for two hours. Those were with Curator on. Then you need at least 200 berry mint ads. I'm just saying that because you go through them real quick. 200 is a good number. And then you'll complete the scoreboard much faster with all those perks if you're a carnivore. And I finished this over the weekend. And this was with double XP where I got this awesome doggy nail at my camp. He's pretty cool. Can't interact with him, but it's still pretty cool. And uh, things I recommend having on is good with salt. Uh, usually I don't have this card on. Uh, you definitely need curator on. It lets your magazines and bobbleheads last longer. You're going to need to use class freak. That'll increase your XP. And use chem finder. Again, I usually don't have this card on, but this will make your battery mentads last 10 minutes longer. Make sure all these perks are on before you start. And then start your run. So you want to make sure you prepare yourself before you start your run like I do so you can get started with your run uninterrupted for a little while until everything runs out. Now, when you go and hunt Scorch Beast, make sure Butcher's Bounty's on. Scorch Beast brands can be difficult to get. They're not always guaranteed from a drop. I was actually quite lucky when I get to go run and hunt some Scorch Beast to get my delicious Scorch Beast brains. Um, I got two brains from this scorch beast and two brains from the uh, and one brain from the next. Uh, but you know, when you go to make your scorch beast brains, make sure super duper is on because that will increase the likelihood of getting more brains. Now, only craft one at a time because again, it increases your super duper chances of getting more scorch beast brains. Now, I recommend having at least you want at least six to start because they only last for 30 minutes. So if you're going to be playing for a while, that goes by pretty quickly when you're using Scorch Beast Brains. And you have to pay attention to that. You have to pay attention to the time. You want to make sure those are on. Uh, if you're not going to pay attention to the time, just try to pay attention to uh, what your XP is from killing your, your enemies. When it goes a little bit lower, think, what did you lose and what do you need to replenish? And it's usually uh, the Scorch Beast Brains, your food items. Now, I'm a carnivore build, so for me... And carnivore builds, it's much more difficult to do XP farming. I could do the better thing, which would be be a herbivore and get those better benefits of being a herbivore and having things done easier, but I'm stubborn and stuck in my ways, so I'd like to stay a carnivore. Why? I'm just stubborn. Now, don't forget, get your well-rested bonus. If you die, when you're doing your runs, you lose that well rested bonus. But the good news is there are mattresses inside West Tech. They're in the research for area, uh, right in the cells. There's a few mattresses in there. It's right where the elevator is. There's a mattress in that room across from the elevator. Uh, there's a few in there. So just take a look around until you find them and get your sleep bonus back if you get killed. I wasn't aware of that. I found that out recently. A little bit annoyed by that. But again, so. You want to make sure when you're hunting Scorch Beast, I'm going to say it again, have Butcher's Bounty on. When you're making your Scorch Beast brains, have Super Duper on. When you're making your Tasty Squirrel Stew, have Butcher's Bounty on. And Super Duper. When you're hunting the squirrels, have Butcher's Bounty on and Green Thumb. You need salt, two potatoes, two squirrel meats. Your squirrels are at White Springs, there's five squirrels total at White Springs. One's by the Enclave entrance, the service entrance, where the rabbits are. Two are right across the station at the side of White Springs, of the main entrance, to the left of the main entrance. Another squirrel is by the firehouse, uh, right before the parking lot. And the last squirrel is behind the cabins, usually where the robots are fighting a random encounter. Uh, in the back of those cabins, there's one squirrel. But make sure you have Butcher's Bounty on. You need those squirrel bits. Um, so you want to make sure you get all these things ready before you do this run. And you'll be good to just farm mindlessly for as long as you have all these materials and before they run out. 
Now usually I like to time it for an hour each. Uh, as for lunch boxes, I went through those super fast. Um, so what I would do is if Rad Rumble ever popped up, of course go to that, that's a great XP. Plus there's a good chance other people will open up lunch boxes. If people are launching nukes for Queen or Earls, just go to them because people again will open up lunch boxes for you for the most part, and then bounce and come back here, because you'll get most XP at West Tech. I did this solidly, solidly, Friday to Sunday, and I did it for about a while. <laughs> I did it for a long time. I did it for nearly 12 hours for all three days, uh, because I can. Because, yes, I don't really have a life at this point, so I can farm this mindlessly. I'm also single. I don't have a family to worry about. I can do these things. I know. Big loser. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but I also wanted to see how quickly I can complete the season. Um, I wasn't able to really properly prepare for this right away because it was a surprise XP weekend because Bethesda pretty much made everybody angry <laughs> at the beginning of the season by saying they're going to delay it. So this is their way of making it up for us. But So I'm just going to show you uh, how, you, how I did my runs through West Tech. I did it the same way pretty much for the most part. Um, I was only outside maybe once uh, until I needed to go out and grab some more ingredients. Uh, or if an event started like Rad Rumble, I would, I would immediately even go to that. Immediately leave and go to Rad Rumble. And wait there. Then come back and uh, redo this. Um, when I would run out of lunchboxes, uh, you know, if you're low on lunchboxes, ask your friends if you're playing with anybody. Hey! Yeah, any lunch boxes you can open up because I actually was low on lunch boxes when I started this, so I kind of panicked a little bit. I was like, oh, these lunch boxes boosters aren't really gonna, I'm gonna run out. But I was fortunate to have enough friends to help me out with that and have enough events to happen to hook you up with four lunch boxes. Um, and then uh, I usually have a lot of berry mentats on me anyway, um, so it was pretty good there. I was able to barter for some live and love number eights on Discord. Uh, 76 Marketplace, and then one of my buddies hooked me up with Leader Bobbleheads, which was super nice of them. Um, I recommend at least, let's say, 30 Live and Love Bobblehead, uh, 30 magazines, because they only, they don't last as long as the bobbles, and those go off pretty quick. Uh, I'd say maybe 10, 10 Leader Bobbleheads. Uh, and those is kind of repetitive, but it's just kind of just to, you know, put that out there. Again, uh, I was kind of overcharged on the magazines that I bought because it was double XP weekend. I was told by the seller they were charging more because of that. <laughs> um, they, I was going to buy some Mentats from them, the Merry Mentats, but they were charging too much. I said no, but they hooked me up with 50 free ones, which was nice. Because I went through a lot. You, They only last for 10 minutes, so I'm farming and constantly popping those. Uh, and I went through quite a lot. I went through over 100, I think. Uh, I don't remember. I just wanted to put this video together just to show you how fast um, doing double XP weekend uh, with all of the special, you know, bonuses to help you with XP really go a long way and make a big difference. So if you didn't believe before that these items really did that much to help you, I hope this changes your mind and I hope it makes you understand the game a little bit better that perks actually do a lot for you. Now, um, if you're a herbivore build, you probably get more XP than me that I earned and have to farm not as much, uh, but there are some good videos on there, YouTube if you look for them, on people that have herbivore builds that do XP power runs, um, that they could tell you what you need to do for those runs. I can't tell you that because I don't do the herbivore run. Uh, I know a couple things that you could use, but not enough to be uh, too educated for you. Uh, to hook that up in this video as well, but I feel like the carnivores are overlooked. I, I mean, there could be a reason for that since it's a little more difficult to do XP farms with that. Um, but, oh, the last thing I didn't mention is being a casual team and hopefully a team of four stay with you the whole time with the bonds. That is your most effective way to get here. If one person leaves, that sucks, but Having a consistent team of four is what makes a huge difference as well. It really amps up your XP. Now a lot of people, I'm kind of going all over the place with this video, but I just want to cover a few things. Um, 
as I as you watch me run through West Tech, is that some people say, oh, have canned meat stew for carnivores, and they don't mention Tasty Squirrel stew. Canned meat only gives you 12% XP, where Tasty Squirrel stew gives you 25%. So it is a drastic increase in um, your XP adventures. So again, that's one salt, two potatoes, two squirrel bits for tasty squirrel stew and uh, two boiled waters and I recommend make the boiled waters first then put on super duper because you don't want super duper going off when you're making boiled waters and it doesn't go off when you're making squirrel stew and these are just my tips for you to be able to just do power runs and level up as fast as possible and get as much XP as possible now even now that double XP is over you can still do this and it will still boost you up on the scoreboard if you do a bit of farming but my my opinion for me what worked best for me is going through West Tech you go through West Tech you go to the basement you come back up everything spawns in much faster and you have a smooth rhythm going so I used to go in and out in and out because I forgot about the basement and then I located the basement which is in the research room uh, on the other side of this room right before the double doors uh, on the other side so I hope this is helpful for you and I hope this is really nice tips for you if you were unaware of certain things and wondering hey how did these people get the scoreboard completed when you can't purchase anything. I would never purchase anything on the scoreboard unless I was not able to complete it, like and it was real close to it. But this is what we did. This is my method, what I did, what worked best for me, and, and what I didn't mind doing. Um, sure, it was annoying and frustrating, and I got cranky every now and then because I was trying to bust this out real quick, but I honestly just wanted to be done with the season because I want to enjoy my other games that I play. Uh, I just got a new run in on Skyrim and I want to spend more time on that and not have to sign into this game every day to do dailies and weeklies. I saw an opportunity and I jumped on it and uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't really think there was too much on the scoreboard really excited to be excited about. Uh, you know, except for some things like the dog and the new skin for the gun, the combat rifle fixers. Um, but hopefully this is something that eases your mind and shows you how to just XP farm in general even if you're not trying to go up on a scoreboard but it's a good, good tip for XP farming in general if you can and uh, hopefully I covered enough and I, I know I rambled on kind of all over the place and I wasn't really real scripted to uh, be as informative as I wanted to be in a proper way but hopefully this will be helpful. So I'm going to end the video here, and I hope you really enjoyed what I had going on for you, and that it solves the mystery as to how the hell people finish season 6 so quickly. And that's all I got for you. So give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, comment below on where you're at in the scoreboard, and I'll see you some other time.